Hi, my name is Matt Denacourt, and I'm an Applications Engineer here at HANA Instruments. Today I'm going to show you how to set up, calibrate, and operate the HI9147 Portable Water Resistant Dissolved Oxygen Meter. Now measuring dissolved oxygen, or DO, is important in a variety of applications, including aquaculture, beverage analysis, wastewater treatment, and water quality. The first thing you want to do when you get your kit is to open it up and make sure everything is present and accounted for. Let's take a look. With the meter kit, you should have received a meter and probe, galvanic electrolyte solution, two spare membranes with O-rings, a protective cap, a protective sleeve, one mini screwdriver, three batteries for the meter, a calibration certificate, an instruction manual, and of course, its rugged carrying case. If you're missing items from the kit or need anything else, you'll want to contact our customer service department. If not, then it's time to set everything up. Setting up a HANA meter is fast and easy. In just a few simple steps, you'll be on your way to your first measurement. Step 1. Secure the probe to the meter. It comes attached, so just check to make sure. Step 2. Remove the red and black plastic cap from the probe. That's just for shipping. Step 3. Prep the sensor by soaking the bottom edge of the probe in electrolyte solution for a few minutes. Step 4. Inspect the membrane cap. Make sure the membrane isn't damaged and that the rubber o-ring is seated properly inside. Step 5. Prime the cap with electrolyte solution. Shake gently, discard, and refill with clean solution. Step 6. Gently tap the side of the cap to remove any trapped air bubbles. Don't tap the membrane itself, that could damage it. Step 7. Now, with the sensor facing downward, slowly screw on the membrane cap upward and counterclockwise. Some electrolyte will overflow, but that's okay. Step 8. Finally, put the protective plastic cover on the probe. You're going to want to use this while the probe is not in use. It keeps it safe and in good condition. Once you've inspected and set up your HI9147, go ahead and turn on the meter. The LCD display will show all of its segments and then indicate the battery life. Since this is a galvanic probe and meter, once the message disappears, you're ready for calibration. All right now, let's calibrate. This won't take long at all. It's one simple step involving a 100% water-saturated air calibration. Keeping the probe facing downwards is normal, Hold the probe in air over a sample of water, but don't submerge it. Alternatively, you can fill the protective cap with a few milliliters of water and place the probe inside over the water. Don't submerge it again. Also, don't forget to dump out the water when finished. Press the cal button. Adjust the slope trimmer on the bottom of the meter to 100%. Press cal to confirm the 100% calibration. And now you're done. Be sure to put the protective cap back on in case it'll be a while until your next measurement. Before we go, I'll show you how easy it is to take a measurement. First you want to make sure that your meter is calibrated, and then you want to set your units. The reading can be displayed in percent saturation or milligrams per liter, which is parts per million. Press the appropriate button here and here. You can set the temperature display in Celsius or Fahrenheit here. In shady or darker areas, feel free to turn on the backlight using the BL button here. Now, if you are measuring salt water, you will need to press SAL to set your salinity value. Use the arrow keys to modify the coefficient, then press SAL to lock in the value. If you are at a higher altitude, you'll need to consult the table in your manual for your altitude correction factor. Find your altitude and add its corresponding factor to your salinity value using the SAL button again. Since this is typically a field meter and we're not in the field, we'll be using a magnetic stir plate to stir our sample. Now, remove the protective cap and immerse the probe in your sample. Remember to submerge the temperature sensor too. That's important. Again, you want this sample to be moving, so swirling or using a stir plate is necessary. The DO and temperature values are displayed on the LCD. And that's how you measure dissolved oxygen using the HI9147 Portable Water Resistant Dissolved Oxygen Meter. I hope this video has been helpful. 
If you have any questions, please visit us at hannainst.com.